art channel. Without further ado, let's get drawing. Hi guys, welcome back to my art channel. So for today, we're going to be drawing, learning how to draw a loaf of bread. I've been having some requests from some of you about just doing some really simple clip art, kind of cartoonish objects and designs um, because you want to incorporate these objects into other drawings and lettering projects and posters and so on. So to begin with, we are going to open up our canvas size and for this I'm going to be doing my screen size. Now for this drawing, I'm going to be using my studio pen. So I'm going to go to my inking brush and I'm going to go to my studio pen. And I'm going to turn the size down to about halfway and make sure that your transparency is all the way up. And we're going to go ahead and choose a bread base colour. So if you're doing brown bare bread, you're going to want to go with something a little darker. Or with white bread, you're going to want to do something a little lighter. You can also bring in um, and create your own palette from a photo of a loaf of bread if you aren't really sure what colours to use. Um, so just go ahead and play about with the colours before you, you know, you really choose anything. You can also change the colours once you've started drawing. So there's no problem if you want to change them afterwards. So to begin with, we're going to be drawing an oval shape. And this is going to be our bread. And we're just going to drag and drop this colour here. Now we are going to go to our razor brush. And you can change your razor brush from clicking on it. Um, you can either do the inking or um, your hard airbrush. It just depends on the size that you want. And I'm just going to zoom in. And I'm going to draw out and erase, just in a triangle shape, as you can see, something that looks like this and I'm just going to do this really roughly and then we're going to neaten it up afterwards and these are going to be the parts that are cut out on top of our bread so just go ahead and erase those And then you'll have something that looks like this. And again, just go ahead and just neaten the sides up if you want to. And then we're going to add a new layer and we're going to bring it underneath the loaf of bread. And we're going to choose a darker colour. And we're going to go back to our studio pen. And we're just going to draw a curve up here, which we're bringing just below our bread. And then we're just going to join it up and drag and drop. Now, the curve itself, I want to be just underneath the bread. So I'm going to take, go back to my top layer and with my eraser, I'm just going to take off this top part of the bread, which is sticking up too much. So you've only got a very small overlap. And now this brown's looking too dark for my bottom layer. So I'm just gonna go ahead and notch it up a tone. And then it should look something like this. Now don't forget we're doing all of this on separate layers. Now in between this layer and your top layer, we're gonna add a new layer. And this time in a more cream white color, not perfect white and using our studio pen we're just going to from the bottom up here just take as you can see a line like this and we're going to do this on all three parts of our part that we erased out. And I'm doing this to the right side, as you can see. 
Then we are going to go ahead and add all our different textures and shadows. So I'm going to add a new layer on top of my bread layer. And I'm going to click Clipping Mask. And then in a dark brown colour, I'm going to turn my pen size up and my transparency down. I'm still using my studio pen. I'm just going to zoom in and just bring a little bit of shadow here on the side. As you can see. Very subtle. Just erased all of those. Now I'm doing this on a clipping mask so that I can change it if I don't like it when I'm done. Okie dokie, so now we are going to add some texture with our touch-up brushes, our noise brush. And in the same brown, I'm just going to turn the size up quite a bit. In the same brown, I'm just going to bring down here a shadow on the bottom. I'm not pressing too hard. If I press really hard, I'll get this. I don't want that because I want to be able to add onto my textures and effects as I go on throughout my drawing, which is really important. And then I'm just going to keep getting lighter and lighter with my different browns and, you know, the different kind of colours that you'd see on a loaf of bread. And then I'm going to go ahead to a very white light colour. And just here in the middle, I'm just going to bring some highlights out and here to the edges as well. And then down here, you can also use some really interesting colours like a deep purple just to get that extra kind of depth and shadow maybe that you're looking for and even a yellow for the highlights just a really fun color um, we're not drawing still life so you don't have to make it perfect we're then going to go on to our white lines layer and for this one i'm just going to turn alpha lock on and i'm going to go to my dark brown again um, my browns colour and then I'm just going to turn this noise brush down and just down here in the bottom I'm just going to add a small shadow and then I'm going to go onto my bottom layer add a new layer and click on clipping mask and then we're just going to add some shadows here and then we're going to add some highlights on the top as well. Okay, so now we're going to add our shadows and our highlights onto this drawing. So to begin with this part, we're going to add a new layer on top of all the other layers. And we're going to choose a clipping mask once again. We're going to go back to our studio pen brush. And I'm going to choose black. And I'm going to turn my size up and make sure that my transparency is turned all the way down. And just here on the left side, I'm just going to bring a shadow just around here without taking my pen off the screen. And then I'm going to go to my smudge brush and I'm just going to smudge this shadow in so it's not as sharp. And then I'm going to add a white highlight. So I'm going to choose white. And on the same layer, or you can add a new layer. I'm just going to go ahead and add some white highlights on the other side. And again, I'm just going to smudge them. And then you'll end up with your loaf of bread, which will look something like this. Okay, now we are going to group all of our layers like so, and we're going to duplicate them. Then on the bottom layer, we are going to flatten and we're going to turn alpha lock on and we're going to fill the layer with black. So choose a black color, click fill layer, turn alpha lock off, zoom out so that you can see what you're doing. Bring the circle, the oval underneath this loaf of bread 
and then go ahead to your magic wand click on cause and blur and just blur this shadow and then move the shadow to wherever you feel is appropriate in regards to your shadowing and your lighting that you've been doing for this design then you can just blur it a little bit more as you can see i've got some edges here which i don't want shown and then i'm going to add a new layer and i'm going to choose my background color and for this i'm going to do a blue color and then i am going to take these two top layers my bread and my shadow and i'm just going to move them down and enlarge it slightly and then I'm going to add a new layer and with this elements smoke brush I'm just going to in white very lightly just add some very delicate lines so that you can see this is hot bread which has just come out the oven and then you'll end up with something that looks like this thanks for watching if you liked what you saw please go ahead and give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel because it really helps me in creating more and more more and more free videos for all of you out there so if you want to come and join my procreate group the links are in the description i'd love for you to be a member of my group we can share all some ideas tips and artwork also please don't forget to tag me on instagram so that i can see what work you've created from this awesome tutorial so love to you all and i'll see you in the next video Thank you.